In this video, you will learn how to add or subtract functions. To add functions, first we have to distribute the positive sign to the terms of the second function. Then we have to combine only the similar terms. Now the, the, sim, the similar terms are the terms with the same variable raised to the same exponent. Let's consider some examples. Let's say we have to add 2x squared plus 2x minus 3 and the function x squared minus 3x plus 7. So first we have to distribute this positive sign to each term in the second function. So let's copy the first three terms, 2x squared plus 2x minus 3. Then if we, if we distribute or multiply each term of the second function by the positive sign, the terms will retain their signs. So you have plus x squared minus 3x plus 7. Let's simplify this expression. We have two uh, x squared terms. Okay, so 2x squared plus 1x squared, that is 3x squared. Now we also have 2x terms, so we have 2x minus 3x. Okay, so 2, 2 minus 3 is negative 1, so, so we have negative 1x. Negative 3 plus 7, that is 4. Therefore, the sum of the two functions is 3x squared minus x plus 4. Next, we have to add 3x squared minus 7x plus 5 to the function 3x squared plus 3x minus 8. So, if we distribute this positive sign to each term in the second function, the terms will retain their original signs. Okay, so let's copy 3x squared minus 7x plus 5. And we can also copy these terms. So we have plus x squared plus 3x minus 8. Let's simplify this expression. We have two x squared terms. So we have 3 plus 1, that is 4x squared. We also have two x, x terms. So we have negative 7x and plus 3x. Negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4x. Okay, and uh, the numbers 5 minus 8, okay, that is negative 3. Therefore, the sum is 4x squared minus 4x minus 3. Lastly, we have x squared plus 6x minus 10. And we have to add to that the function 2x squared plus 2x minus 11. So again, if we distribute this positive sign to each term of the second function, the terms will retain their original signs. Okay, so we only have to copy the terms. So we have x squared plus 6x minus 10. <coughs> sorry. Plus 2x squared plus 2x minus 11. To simplify this expression, let's combine the x squared terms. So we have 1x squared and positive uh, 2x squared. Okay, so that is 3x squared. Six, uh, how about the x terms? 6x plus 2x, so we have 8x. And how about the, uh, the, the, the numbers or the constants? Negative 10 minus 11, that is negative 21. This time, how do we subtract functions? To subtract functions, first we have to distribute the negative sign to the terms of the second function then we can combine only the similar terms. Now, take note that the similar terms are the terms with the same variable raised to the same exponents. Let's consider some examples. First, let's say we have to get the difference of 5x squared plus 3x minus 7 and the function 2x squared minus 4x plus 8. So first, we have to distribute this negative sign to each term of the second function. So first let's copy, and so we can copy the first three terms. We have 5x squared plus 3x minus 7. Okay, if we distribute this minus sign or negative sign to the terms of the second function, the signs of the terms will be reversed. Okay, so for example, we have negative, of course, neg negative 
indicates a negative 1. So negative 1 times 2x squared, that is minus 2x squared. Negative times negative 4x, that's positive 4x. Negative times positive 8, that is negative 8. To simplify this expression, let's combine the similar terms. First, we have the, the x squared terms, 5x squared minus 2x squared. That gives us 3x squared. Let's combine the x terms, 3x plus 4x, that is 7x. And how about the number constants? So minus 7, minus 8, that gives us negative 15. Okay, next example, let's say we have to subtract uh, x squared plus 6x minus 4 from the function 3x squared minus 6x plus 2. First, let's distribute the negative sign to the terms of the second function. Okay, so let's copy the first three terms, 3x squared minus 6x plus 2. If we distribute this negative sign, okay, the signs of the terms will be reversed. So we have negative times x squared, that, that becomes negative x squared. Negative times positive 6x, we have negative 6x. Negative times negative 4, that becomes positive 4. To simplify this resulting expression, let's combine the similar terms. Okay, let's combine first the x squared term. So we have 3x squared minus x squared, that is 2x squared. How about the x terms? Negative 6x, negative 6x, that, uh, become, that becomes negative 12x. Okay, and the number constants, we have positive 2 plus 4, we get positive 6. Lastly, we have 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. And from that, we have to subtract the function 2x squared minus 6x plus 1. First, let's distribute the negative sign to the terms of the second function. Hence, the signs of the terms will be reversed. So let's copy the first three terms, 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. And negative times positive 2x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative times negative 6x is positive 6x. And negative times positive 1, okay, we have negative 1. To simplify this expression, let's combine the similar terms. So, okay, so first we, we combine the x squared terms. We have 2x squared minus 2x squared. That is 0. So the x squared term is cancelled. Okay, now let's combine the x term, 7x plus 6x, that gives us 13x. Okay, and how about the numbers, negative 4 minus 1, that is negative 5. If you have any question, please leave a comment.